In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. <clears throat> Holy Week. Holy Week started on Palm Sunday. The very heart of Holy Week is called the Easter Triduum. Triduum means three. And it's composed of three days. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. And of course this culminates in the solemnity of all solemnities, which is Easter Sunday. Just a word in this short presentation on each of these days. Holy Thursday brings us back to the upper room called the Cenacle with Jesus, surrounded by his apostles at the Last Supper. There at the Last Supper, Jesus celebrated the first Mass, and he instituted for us the greatest of all sacraments, which is the sacrament of the Most Holy Eucharist, his body, blood, soul, and divinity, which is present when he turned the bread into his body and the wine into his blood. <clears throat> Myself as a priest, the greatest action I can do at any day is to celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, which I take that bread and wine, and through the words that Jesus said, there is the consecration. The technical word would be that of transubstantiation, in which the appearance seemed to be the same. It seems to be bread and wine. It smells like bread, smells like wine, tastes like bread, tastes like wine. The bread will break like bread. But the very substance is not bread or wine. It is really, really and truly and substantially, the body, the blood, the soul, and the divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So this would be the first day of the Triduum that we're explaining today. Hopefully you'll be able to go to Mass that day in the evening in which you'll witness the washing of the feet which the priest will wash the 12 feet of individuals going back, symbolizing going back to the Last Supper when Jesus washed the feet of the apostles, symbolic of humility, service, and the call to purification. So I pray that this Holy Week will be the most holy weeks of your life.